Leadership and management are essential for any business. But the healthcare industry provides life-saving goods and services. Therefore, correct management and effective leadership have become much more important in this particular sector called healthcare sector. The healthcare industry's services and products help people avoid suffering, treat illnesses and maybe save their lives. As a result, effective leadership strategies are essential for ensuring that everything is done correctly and that everyone is safe as well. Health is not just the absence of disease. It is a complete well-being of your physical, mental and your social state. In this course, we will be learning about managing people and managing other resources in the field of healthcare. What is the role of a manager when we talk about healthcare industry? What are the different management levels? What are the key competitive advantages in the healthcare industry? All these aspects about the healthcare sector as well as about pharma sector will touch upon in this particular course. At the end of this beginner friendly course, we'll understand the role of human resource management and quality management as well. As discussed, when we talk about any field, any business, management is extremely important. But when we talk about specifically, explicitly healthcare, then management becomes much more important because it is the quality that matters. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video for any queries or suggestions and I'll respond to your comments. Hello, my name is Shantanu Rana and today I am going to teach you this course on healthcare management by Great Learning. So welcome all of you. In this particular course on healthcare management, we are going to start from very scratch. There is nothing that you are supposed to know. We will be starting from very basic from the definition of health and then we'll move forward. We'll try to understand the importance of healthcare management. What are the roles of manager in the healthcare industry? What are the different manager levels? All those things we will be discussing one by one. So let's not waste any time and try to understand the agenda first. And let's see what all we are going to cover in this course one by one. So as you can see on the screen, the first thing that we are going to discuss in this particular course is what is healthcare management? Here I am going to give you the definition of health. Then what is healthcare management? And finally, what is the importance of healthcare management? Why do we need to manage things when we are talking about the healthcare industry or the healthcare sector? All of that we will be discussing in the first module itself. Then healthcare management versus healthcare administration. Can these two terms be used interchangeably? What is the difference between these two terms? Or does it depend upon the organization how we use these terms? All of these questions will be answered in the second module in this particular chapter. Then difference between healthcare and pharma sector. That is also a major area of confusion between people that I am going to clear in the third module. Then what does healthcare management involve? What are the different areas in healthcare management? All of that and a discussion about that will happen over uh, chapter number four. That is module number four. Then key segments of the healthcare industry, healthcare industry value chain, key competitive advantages in the healthcare industry or in the healthcare sector, all of those advantages we will be discussing. Then the role of managers in healthcare. What are the different job roles that a manager actually have when we are talking about the healthcare sector? Then management levels in healthcare. So there are three management levels that we will be discussing in detail in this particular module. Then there are two things which are very, very important in healthcare. That is human resource management and quality management because definitely when we are talking about healthcare quality has to be very very good because it is something which is life saving so we are definitely going to discuss about these two things explicitly at the end of this course that is human resource management in healthcare industry and then quality management in healthcare industry all right so let's start this course with the definition of healthcare management what is healthcare management but before we actually try to understand that how do you manage things within the healthcare industry or healthcare sector, it is important to understand first of all that what is health at the first place. So let's first look at the definition of health and then the definition of healthcare management. 
So as you can see on the screen that what is health? Health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease. So a lot of people what they think is that health means absence of disease. But that's not true. If you does not have cough, you does not have fever, you does not have cold, that does not mean you are completely healthy. Yes, you heard me right. Maybe you are not mentally well. Maybe you are not socially well. Because these three things are also interconnected with each other. So whenever we are talking about health, there are three things which are included in that. One is your physical well-being. That is how are you physically. Then one is your mental well-being. And then finally, your social well-being, that how are your relationships with other. And it's not like all these three things are completely different from each other. No, these three things are interconnected. So mental well-being is actually interconnected with your physical well-being. And your physical well-being is maybe interconnected with your social well-being. So these three things are knit together and actually are the most important components whenever we are talking about health. Now let's try to understand that what is healthcare management? What's the role of management or leadership whenever we are talking about healthcare? So as you can see on the screen that healthcare management is the overall management and leadership of both private and public healthcare organizations, your hospitals, clinics, everything is included in that to ensure that activities in the whole healthcare industry run smoothly. Because when we are talking about healthcare industry, it becomes very, very important that the quality is good and people are managed properly, things are managed properly. Because this is something which is giving us life-saving products and services. So management and leadership is extremely important when we are talking about the healthcare industry. So managing all of those things is nothing but your healthcare management. That's the overall management and leadership of both private as well as your public healthcare organizations. Now moving forward, let's try to understand that what is the importance of healthcare management? Why do we even need to know about this thing at the first place? So the first point says that leadership and management are essential for any business. So you talk about e-commerce, you talk about edtech, you talk about any organization. We understand that leadership and management is actually important in all these businesses, in all these sectors, all these industries. But the healthcare industry provides life-saving goods and services. Therefore, correct management and effective leadership have become more important in this particular sector. If you talk about any other industry, maybe e-commerce, maybe pharmaceutical, maybe any, any other company, any other organizations, industry, sector, we will realize that the products and services are good, are going to help people. But when we actually explicitly talk about uh, healthcare industry or healthcare sector, then the products and services are actually life-saving. Those are going to help people or the customers on some other level. That's why correct management and effective leadership becomes more important in this particular sector called healthcare sector. Now the healthcare industry services and products help people avoid suffering, treat illness and maybe save their lives. As I was saying, it is life-saving products and services. So as a result, effective leadership strategies are essential for ensuring that everything is done correctly and that everyone is safe. Just assume that the quality is not good when we are talking about healthcare. Definitely when people will be ill, maybe it's mental, maybe it's physical or maybe it's social. They would never like to go to a hospital because they know that the quality is not good. So we have to ensure quality. We have to make sure that the human resources are managed properly. We have to ensure that things in general are managed properly. You know, there is administrator, there is manager who are managing each and everything so that they are making sure that, you know, things are running smoothly in the healthcare sector. So that's what healthcare management is all about and why it is extremely important because the products and services of healthcare industry are life-saving. They avoid suffering, treat illness and maybe save people's life. So that's why since the products and services are life-saving, healthcare management becomes very, very important when compared to other industries. All right. So now that we have understood what exactly is health and what is the importance of healthcare management, it's time for us to clear this confusion between the two terms that is healthcare management and healthcare administration. So a lot of people think that these two terms can be used interchangeably. A lot of people think that there's a difference between these two terms. So I'm going to clear all those confusion related to these two terms. So as you can see on the screen, the first point says 
that the term healthcare management and healthcare administration are used interchangeably due to similarities between the two however it entirely depends on the organization where these two terms mean the same thing or have separate roles so if you think that these two terms are completely similar maybe it is true for a particular organization but if you go to some other organization in the healthcare industry maybe that will not be the case maybe healthcare manager will be different and healthcare administrator will be different so it completely depends upon the organization however these two terms are very similar and in certain organizations are used interchangeably as well but again completely depends upon the organization that what will be the job roles of healthcare managers and healthcare administrators so the main distinction between the two words is that healthcare administrators are usually in charge of staff management or you can say personal management while healthcare managers are in charge of the entire business so if there's a healthcare manager they will be making objectives and goals for the entire business entire organization however healthcare administrations are mostly involved in staff management they take care of department specific goals department specific objectives let's have a look at what are the different job roles of healthcare managers and healthcare administrators as you can see that in the job roles of healthcare managers first thing is developing plans and strategies and these plans and strategies will be for the entire healthcare organization not just for one department specific maintaining relationship with stakeholders whenever there is a healthcare organization people are going to get affected by it there will be stakeholders so maintaining relationships with those stakeholders is also the job role of healthcare managers and not healthcare administrator then managing change within the healthcare facility whenever we have to bring a change so we have to make sure that the risks involved are less and the benefits from that change are more you know whenever we want to reach a desired position there's a proper management that is done and that is done by a healthcare manager and not by healthcare administrator then dealing with finance and optimizing budgets there are equipments involved there are so many things involved in when uh, in the healthcare sector so who is going to manage all of that who's going to you know optimize the budgets and going to manage the finances again healthcare managers and not healthcare administrators then defining outcomes and attending various meetings to make sure that the overall healthcare industry overall healthcare organization is running smoothly it's not department specific but on the other hand when we talk about healthcare administrator that is very department specific so first thing that they do is they directly manage the staff as we have seen that the main difference between administrator and manager is that administrator are mostly involved in personal management staff management however healthcare managers are mostly involved in the entire business so they directly manage the staff they develop department specific objectives there will be different different departments within one healthcare organization and who's going to set objectives and goals for each and every department healthcare administrators so their roles job roles are less compared to the healthcare managers third point is that keeping and organizing records of services and ensuring regulatory compliances so on an overall picture you can say that healthcare administrators are involved in staff management and they are very department specific uh, job roles that they have they make objectives goals and set goals for the department various departments within one healthcare organization but on the other hand when we talk about healthcare managers they set goals for the entire healthcare organization they take care of the entire business they optimize the budget they take care of the finance as well so their job roles are more and on a bigger level when compared to healthcare administrator but again we always have to keep this in mind that it completely depends upon the organization whether healthcare manager or healthcare administrator will have the same role or these two terms these two particular roles will have different jobs it depends upon the healthcare organization so now that we have understood what exactly is the difference between healthcare management and healthcare administration it is time for us to move forward and try to understand the difference between healthcare and pharma sector so lot of people actually have this confusion that what is the difference between healthcare and pharmaceutical sector so all of that we are going to cover in this particular module so as you can see on the screen the first point says that hospitals medical research and clinical trials equipment and technologies 
टेलीमेडिसिन एंड आउटसोर्सिंग देन हेल्थ टूरिज्म देन मेडिकल इंश्योरेंस आर ऑल पार्ट ऑफ द हेल्थ केयर इंडस्ट्री सो ऑल दोज थिंग्स दैट आई नेम्ड राइट नाउ आर एक्चुअली इंक्लूडेड इन हेल्थ केयर इंडस्ट्री एंड नॉट इन द फार्मा इंडस्ट्री सो वॉट इज इंक्लूडेड इन फार्मा फार्मास्यूटिकल्स मेडिसिन एंड अदर मेडिकल प्रोडक्ट्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाय द फार्मा इंडस्ट्री let me explain this to you with the help of a very very simple example let's say you have fever so you are a patient so if you are a patient you are going to go to the doctor how will you meet the doctor you will go to a hospital or a clinic there you are going to meet a doctor that doctor is going to do your checkup or he is going to do your treatment and then he is going to give you a prescription that this is the medicine that you are supposed to take go to a chemist take this medicine and you will be fine so that is the activity which is happening inside a hospital you go to a doctor and eventually you get a prescription from him or her and all of those activities which are happening inside the hospital those are a part of your healthcare sector the once the prescription is given to you then you go to a chemist now the chemist is getting the medicines from a wholesaler he is getting it from a distributor and then they finally are getting it from a manufacturer so this line which is at the second place that is uh, manufacturer distributor wholesaler and chemist those four things are actually a part of pharma sector so these are the activities which are happening outside the hospital so in hospital whatever activities are happening those will be part of your healthcare industry healthcare sector and the activities which are happening outside the hospital from chemist to distributor all the you know production and distribution of medical products medicines pharmaceuticals that will be part of your pharma sector so that is the basic difference between these two terms so now that we have understood the basics of healthcare management the importance of it and we have also cleared the difference between various terms which are related to healthcare it is time for us to actually dive into this topic of healthcare management so let's try to understand that what does healthcare management involve what are the different areas which are actually included when we talk about healthcare management so point number 1 is planning directing and coordinating various activities in healthcare so whenever we are talking about the healthcare industry it's not just one or two departments that are there there are large number of departments and there is a need of coordination and planning between those departments and all of that is included in healthcare management management of all those departments coordination between those departments planning and plotting all of that is included in healthcare management then budgeting and financial management for the entire healthcare organization be it related to your equipment be it related to service charges anything that budgeting and financial planning is also a part of healthcare management then the creation of work schedules for all staff there are different management levels that we are going to discuss at the end of this course in much more detail but all those management levels all the roles how are those things managed how is the entire staff managed the personal management that is also a part of healthcare management and that's why human resource management is extremely important whenever we are talking about the healthcare sector then making plans for when new employees should be employed hiring firing all of that is also a part of healthcare management how many people do we actually need for a particular task finding the optimal number of people then hiring according to that then firing people all of that is also you know done within healthcare management that is a part of human resource management within the healthcare industry then the supervision of individual departments to ensure that they are run effectively once people are hired we have to make sure that their performance is good and overall departments have a good coordination to ensure that everything is running effectively efficiently and smoothly that is also a part of a healthcare manager or that is also included in healthcare management now maintaining patient satisfaction and well being that is extremely important especially when we are talking about industries like healthcare because when a patient is coming the products and the services that they are going to get is going to avoid suffering for them is going to treat their illness is going to provide them life saving goods and services so quality becomes very very important when we are talking about healthcare that's why quality management is also included in healthcare management so human resource management quality management and along with that change management these three things are actually very very important whenever we are talking about healthcare management industry then the overseeing of all staff 
including caregivers and doctors as i was telling you there are different different levels of management there will be frontline managers there will be top managers senior managers different different managers the supervision of all of that that is also included in healthcare management people should know what are the different roles that they have and then eventually the main goal is to make sure that whatever goals are set for the healthcare organization those are met and at the same time patients are satisfied their well being is the top most concern so all these things are actually part of nothing but healthcare management now let's try to understand the key segments of the healthcare industry what are the different segments in the healthcare industry so there are three things that we will be discussing in this particular module number one segment is healthcare providers then healthcare financiers and then finally life sciences so when we are talking about healthcare providers there are again three things in that hospitals and other medical centers your clinics and everything that will be a part of healthcare providers because they are the ones who are actually providing you healthcare who are providing you those life saving services the nursing homes and rehabilitative centers so in that all of your occupational therapy all of uh, you know let's say speech therapy uh, and uh, other services are all included in that short term services or long term services will be a part of nursing homes and rehabilitative centers then ambulatory service providers so there are some known hospital based services as well by any physicians or maybe any professional those will be a part of your ambulatory service providers then healthcare financiers definitely as the name suggests related to finances and budgeting so private companies or government agencies that provide healthcare insurance coverages and policies that will be a part of your healthcare financiers then in life sciences again we have three things pharmaceutical companies that manufacture medications and other chemical products those will be a part of life sciences then manufacturers who make high tech medical equipment those will also be a part of life sciences and biotechnologies companies that conduct drug research whatever innovation and research part is there that will also be under life sciences so overall what you can say is whenever we are talking about the healthcare sector or healthcare industry there are three main key segments in that healthcare providers healthcare financiers and life sciences in healthcare providers all the providers of healthcare are including including your hospitals nursing homes rehabilitative centers ambulatory services non hospital based services are also a part of healthcare providers then in healthcare financiers your private and government agencies that provide health insurance and in life sciences all the medical equipment all the medications chemical drugs the manufacturers of that and finally the biotechnology companies that actually conduct drug research and the innovation part of it so those are the three main key segments whenever we are discussing about healthcare industry so now that we have understood the key segments of healthcare industry it is time for us to understand more about the healthcare industry value chain so when we talk about value chain there will be four departments or four roles that we will be discussing about administrative information management clinical services and support services those four parts are basically included in the healthcare industry whenever we are talking about it so when we say the word administrative that is basically your back office planning and coordination of day to day operations of the healthcare facility this department is responsible for financial management and budgeting too there are some day to day operations to ensure that the overall process within the healthcare organization is running smoothly efficiently and effectively that is ensured by the administrative department then information management we know that data is actually the oil of the world today so collection and analysis of the healthcare data in making healthcare decisions we know that we can analyze the data see the past records and based upon that we can actually come up with decisions you know to increase the business to help people to help patient to make sure that their overall experience is good all of those things can be managed with the help of analysis of data so that analysis of data is a part of information management then information management is also called the backbone or sometimes it is also called the brain of the healthcare industry then clinical services which is called the heartbeat of the healthcare industry it provides comprehensive clinical and non clinical services 
for the treatment of patients whenever there is a patient you have to treat that patient as a part of healthcare organization so providing that comprehensive clinical and non clinical services those will be a part of your clinical services all the occupational therapy all of that is again part of clinical services itself then clinical services play a critical role in the overall healthcare operations because that's where the product and the services which are life saving is coming from when a patient comes he knows only one thing what will be the service that will be provided by this particular healthcare organization and that is actually the major part the heartbeat of the entire industry so that's your clinical services then support services these are people processes and support structures to ensure healthcare professionals can provide patient care and service effectively and efficiently so your cleaners food services that will be a part of your support services so these are the four main pillars that we need to know whenever we are discussing about healthcare management administrative information management clinical services and support services so make sure you get to know about these four terms and the basics of it you understand so that you will have a clear idea that what actually is included in healthcare management what are the segments of it and what are the main pillars of it what is the value chain basically all right so now that we have understood the key segments and the value chain within the healthcare industry it is time for us to understand the key competitive advantages whenever we are talking about healthcare sector So there are four major key competitive advantages that we are going to discuss in this particular module. Number 1 is effective cost controls. Providing quality care in a sustainable and profitable manner. So there are two things quality and quantity. If we are talking about any other organization other than the healthcare organization then definitely sometimes we can you know lose a little bit on quality we can think about quantity and it is going to help the business and overall the cost can be controlled but when we are talking about the healthcare industry there cannot be any compromise with the quality quality management is very very important whenever we are talking about healthcare industry so overall how exactly you can make the cost controls you know how exactly you can make the entire process of this budgeting and finance effective and efficient in order to make sure that the quality is also good but the entire process is sustainable and very very profitable so that's what a major advantage that you can get if you do that in the healthcare industry then health and technology so whenever we are talking about healthcare data becomes very very important you have so much of data of so much of patients so much of uh, people who are coming to your hospital you can utilize that data do the resource utilization and find out certain results from that that you can actually utilize to take decisions for the entire organization you can also set goals which will be department specific based upon that particular data so data can be captured monitored and analyzed in real time using technology so if technology you uh, you know start we getting involved it with the health then definitely it is going to do wonders for us within the business it is going to make it more sustainable and more profitable then minimizing empty beds it's not just about beds actually in general resource utilization should be very very good since we are talking about the healthcare industry so minimizing empty beds become again one very key competitive advantage that we can get the most efficient use of given resources any resources including the bed capacity then skilled workforce strategies to retain higher level talent as we were discussing also whenever we are talking about healthcare industry human resource management is very very important managing and supervision of the normal management levels along with that hiring firing that is a part of human resource management but once people are hired there is a skill uh, you know task force that we have we have to make sure that those people are retained also so retention is very very important and that can also give us a key competitive advantage if we are in the healthcare industry so these are the four main things which are very very advantageous when we are talking about the healthcare industry there are more factors as well that we can discuss and we will be exploring later on in this particular course now let's try to understand that what is the role of managers in the healthcare industry 
starting from hiring people to managing their performance to firing them to making strategies for the entire organization all these things are included in the roles of manager so here in this particular module we are going to discuss three major roles that a manager will have in the healthcare sector number 1 is coverage of services planning implementation and evaluation or you can say monitoring or controlling so whenever we are talking about any healthcare organization there will be some goals which will be set for that entire organization that that is the mission or the vision of the organization then for each and every department also there will be some goal set some objective set that this is something desired position where we are supposed to reach to provide direction to the entire staff all that planning and plotting part is the work of a manager now once the planning is done implementing that execution of that planning is also a part of the manager's roles now once that is implementing we have to track the goals also whatever goals we have set for a particular uh, uh, department or for the entire organization entire business those goals have to be tracked also how far we have reached how much is left all of that tracking the performance the goals that is also the role of a manager now once we are tracking that we have to monitor and control what are the negative effects and we have to increase the benefits so all these things your planning part implementation part then controlling and monitoring part that comes under the roles or the job role of a manager then evaluating whatever goals you set and eventually whatever you have need have you met the specified needs or not so that is the part of coverage of services when we are talking about the role of a manager within healthcare now next one is resources staff budget drugs equipment building how all of that is managed again by healthcare manager there are so many resources which goes when we are discussing about the healthcare industry you talk about the bed capacity you talk about management of the staff that is your personal management you talk about optimizing the budget managing the finances drugs equipment meetings with the stakeholders all of those things are actually nothing but the roles of managers again within healthcare then external relations with partners including service users so even if you have relationship with a cleaner to any stakeholder whenever there is a healthcare organization there will be various stakeholders who are actually going to get affected by your business identifying those stakeholders and maintaining a relationship with them that is also a role of manager within the healthcare industry so these are the major areas where healthcare managers are actually involved but other than that on a day to day basis normal operations and hiring of staff human resource management quality management change management those are also included in the healthcare management so now that we have understood the roles of a manager within the healthcare sector it is time for us to understand the different management levels in the healthcare industry so there are three management levels that we will be covering in this particular module top level managers the middle level managers and then finally the front line managers your top level managers are also called your senior managers so top level managers hold titles such as minister head of regional health bureau and director they make decisions that affect the entirety of the healthcare sector it's not just about one organization it's not just department specific this is going to affect the entire healthcare sector the entire healthcare industry those kind of decisions are actually made by the top level managers which generally are you know your ministers or head of regional health bureau directors then they set goals for the healthcare sector and direct others to achieve them they are not going to do anything they are going to tell people what to do they will mostly be involved in the planning part of it and they will say how to execute that but that execution will be done by the lower level managers which will be again your middle level managers so when we talk about middle level managers these managers are responsible for carrying out the objectives set by senior managers senior managers as in top level managers so whatever objectives will be set by the top level managers this is where we are supposed to reach this is the desired position direction will be provided by the top level managers but who's going to implement that who's going to execute that the middle level managers they also set goals at their levels and assist frontline managers in achieving the sector objectives they can offer suggestions to the top management top level management 
और टॉप लेवल मैनेजर्स और सीनियर मैनेजर्स आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू मेक द रूल्स फॉर द एंटायर हेल्थ केयर सेक्टर नाउ हु इज गोइंग टू हेल्प देन इन मेकिंग दोज रूल्स मिडल लेवल मैनेजर्स हु इज गोइंग टू गिव देम सजेशन मिडल लेवल मैनेजर्स एंड हु इज गोइंग टू गिव सजेशन टू मेजर मिडल लेवल मैनेजर्स फ्रंट लाइन मैनेजर्स सो इट्स अंटायर यू नो सिंपल स्टेज initially there are top level managers who set the goals make the objectives now the middle level managers they actually help them in making those goals and they also help the senior managers in set those objectives for a particular department and they execute that as well so planning and plotting is done by the top level managers and execution of that the implementation of that is done by the middle level managers they also assist the front line managers in doing their tasks then what are front line managers all about they are responsible for the daily management of healthcare activities the day to day operations basically these managers interact with the larger community on a daily basis because generally if a patient is going he is not going to meet the head of regional health bureau or the director they are directly going to meet the front line managers and front line managers are going to be assisted by the middle level managers who are going to help in making uh, objectives or set goals the top level managers basically so it's the entire cycle from top level managers to middle level managers to front line managers so who's going to interact with the audience with the larger community on a day to day basis front line managers who's going to help them the middle level managers who's going to make the rules and the regulations and optimize the entire process efficient and effective who's going to do that the top level managers so that's the entire process and that's how it actually works so these are the three main levels whenever we are talking about the healthcare industry now let's try to understand that what is the role of human resource management when we are talking about healthcare so first of all what is human resource management human resource management is nothing but managing and leading the human resources the staff the employees within the healthcare so as you can see that proper human resource management is crucial to the provision of high quality healthcare whenever we are talking about healthcare quality is a very very important factor because the goods and the services which are provided by healthcare are actually life saving are going to avoid suffering for people are going to treat illness for people so the quality has to be top class and that is what has to be ensured within the healthcare industry and that is one of the most uh, top most concerns now how is that done that is done by having a skilled labor who's going to get that skilled labor who's going to have those employees who are skilled at what they do the human resource management department or you call it as hrm department so this department is responsible for selection of appropriate candidates for positions researching on rules and regulations that govern healthcare all the laws and rules regulations which are made by the government or anything like that all of that is done by hrm department then ensuring the performance of new recruits and existing employees are up to par with industry standards taking part in the decision making and planning process whatever goals are set whatever is the mission or the vision of the organization making the day to day activities aligned with the actual vision actual mission that is also one of the main works of human resource management department they are the ones who are actually going to analyze a particular job that how many people are actually required to do that task how many people are currently doing the task that manpower planning is also a part of human resource management then based upon the optimal number they are going to hire or fire people all of that is done within the hrm department now once people are hired their performances have to be tracked to feedback is given to people and we have to make sure that people who are working within the organization who are hired they feel comfortable to and they are going to retain within the organization so that retention and performance management is also a part of human resource management so those are certain things which are actually done by hrm department within the healthcare and it becomes extremely important because if we have the skilled labor then only we can ensure that the quality will be top class within the healthcare so hiring those people is the work of human resource management and that's why this department in general is extremely important whenever we are talking about the healthcare industry along with that on the day to day basis also human resource management have several works from change management to conflict management 
everything is done by this particular department. If there is any conflict between the two levels of management, that will be resolved by the human resource management or other managers with the HR department. So these are certain things which are done by the human resource management, which are extremely important in the healthcare sector for sure. So now that we have understood the role of human resource management within the healthcare sector, it is time for us to understand that what exactly is the role of quality management when we are talking about healthcare industry. So as we have already discussed that within the healthcare sector, quality becomes extremely important. The products and the services which are given by the healthcare are actually life saving for people. Those are going to avoid suffering for people, are going to treat people, you know, when a person is coming to a hospital or a clinic, the only thing that person cares about is the quality that will be given in terms of medication, in terms of checkup, in terms of treatment and other things. So managing that quality becomes extremely important within the healthcare industry. And quality does not happen by chance. It is the result of sincere efforts, intelligent thinking and skillful execution. It is not that randomly we can ensure quality in something. We have to work for that. There should be sincere efforts by the employees, by the managers in terms of setting goals and then in terms of executing those goals. So the entire process has to be smooth and will be efficient and effective only if the quality is managed. Now quality control means that all the product source services rendered to the patient care are carried out as per the product design criteria or SOP that is standard operating procedure so that there is not any chance of errors or defects. So whenever even a product is designed, when we are talking about the healthcare industry, there is a SOP for that. There is a proper design for that. So in quality management, we have to make sure that the quality is actually you know, ensured that whatever uh, rules and regulations are given for a particular design, for a particular product design, that SOP is followed, that design is followed. And accordingly, we have to make sure that it is going to make sure that the patients are going to be safe. So that's what quality management is all about. Then it is a continuous customer centric and employee driven improvement process. Whenever we are saying comp uh, quality management, it's not a one time activity. It's always an ongoing process because it's an improvement process where employees will be driving it and it will always be customer centric. Whenever we are thinking about quality, we have to think about the customers. We have to think about the patients when we are talking about the healthcare industry and the employees are going to drive it with the way they treat the patients, the way they actually do the checkup, the prescriptions is given in each and everything. Managing quality is extremely important whenever we are talking about the healthcare industry. Healthcare uh, in the healthcare industry, quality management involves measuring the process and analysis of data under adequate supervision. So it's not just about planning, it's about planning, executing, implementing, then monitoring, controlling, and finally doing the supervision, the overall monitor of the entire process to ensure that the entire thing runs smoothly, efficiently, and effectively. And it, this entire process should be patient centric, should be customer centric. So that's what quality management is all about. And it is extremely important whenever we are talking in the healthcare industry, because quality is something that the customer is looking forward to. And that can only be done with proper planning. It is not something which is going to happen on its own randomly. We have to make sure that the workforce is skillful, the execution done is skillful, there are sincere efforts and there is intelligent thinking. Only then we can make sure that overall quality is managed and it is only going to help the patients, the customers and not going to harm them in any way. All right. So I'm very happy that you have reached the summary part and you have covered all the other modules in this particular course, healthcare management. So we actually started with the definition of health where we understood that health is not just about absence of disease. It is about your physical, mental and social well-being. All those three components are included in health. Then we understood that managing healthcare is very, very important. We also try to understand the difference between various terms such as healthcare management, healthcare administration and then pharma sector as well. When we talk about healthcare management, they are the ones, managers are the ones who are going to set goals, set objectives for the entire organization. But when we talk about healthcare administration, their goals are mostly related to staff management, 
personal management and those goals which are set by the healthcare administrators are mostly going to affect only one department and not the entire business then we also understood the difference between healthcare and pharma sector that when we talk about healthcare these are all the activities within the hospital from a patient going to a hospital to see a doctor doctor doing his checkup or treatment and giving him a prescription that entire process is a part of healthcare management but all the activities which are happening outside the hospital getting the medication from the chemist who's actually in turn getting it from wholesaler from distributor from a manufacturer the distribution and manufacturer part is the main role of pharma sector and not the healthcare sector so those are certain things that we have discussed in this particular course and we have also understood that there are different manager management levels within the healthcare industry there are top level managers who are also called senior managers then there are middle level managers and finally the frontline managers so frontline managers are mostly involved on day to day basis with the customers with the patients and they take help or they take assistance of middle level managers then middle level managers suggest changes and help the top level managers in setting goals and setting objectives but middle level managers have to execute and implement all the goals which are set by the top level managers we have also seen that what are the key competitive advantages in the healthcare industry we have seen that optimal usage of the beds then cost effective all those things are extremely important whenever we are talking about healthcare one thing is always at the center of healthcare that is quality because when a customer is coming to a hospital to a clinic the only thing they care about is the quality because in healthcare the products and services which are given to the customer to the patient are life saving for them they are going to treat their illness they are going to avoid their suffering so quality management becomes extremely important whenever we are talking about healthcare we have discussed two managements in the healthcare sector that is human resource management and quality management which is a major part of healthcare industry when we talk about human resource management it involves everything starting from hiring a employee to retaining it within the organization to firing him to making sure that the performance is good and overall tasks are done effectively and efficiently all of that is covered in human resource management and then about quality we have seen that quality is something which is not going to come on its own in the processes we have to make sure that the quality is managed properly especially in a sector or in an industry like like healthcare where patients are coming to the hospital to make sure that they are safe and they are going to only get help then nobody is going to harm them in any way so even when it's about product design any equipment design or in general also we have to make sure that the sops are followed the basic design procedures are followed and the overall quality is managed so that nobody is going to harm anyone within the healthcare sector and the patients or the customers can actually feel safe whenever they are coming to the organization so that's the entire idea behind it i am sure that you have learned a lot of things from this particular course and it is going to help you thank you so much if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from great learning if you enjoy this video show us some love and like this video knowledge increases by sharing so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues make sure to comment on the video for any queries or suggestions and i'll respond to your comments